Carlos for Run Repeat and today I will be reviewing the Brooks Levitate 3. This is an 8mm trainer from Brooks that features the DNA Amp midsole. This technology is not new, it's, uh, it's, it's been released from the first iteration of this shoe. It's a midsole that was built in collaboration with Bass, BASF, which is a German company. And it's, a, as you may recall, this German company also co-developed with Adidas, the Adidas Boost. So they are a famous brand among the, the midsole chemical companies that produce products for, this, for these companies. This polyurethane foam, it's, or PU, it's a very bouncy component, which also gives it a, a bit of a dribble when you hit the floor. And it has this uh, TPU casing, which is silver, which is very good looking. And it provides a containment for the foam as it hits the floor and, and, and loses its shape. The TPU casing compresses the PU, the polyurethane foam. So it uh, directs the bounce downwards instead of all over the plate. This technology is it's said by Brooks to be the most energy return midsole in the market. Uh, that is, of course, to be evaluated by a user in, in real world application, but this is the claim from the manufacturer. This, as I said, is an eight millimeter drop. It's a shoe that to me is, has so, sort of an identity crisis because it's not a speed workout shoe. It's not really a, a long run shoe. It's not a race day shoe. But this identity crisis works for the benefit of the Levitates because it makes it an all around multi-purpose shoe. I mean, I've used it for speed runs, for tempos, for long runs, and it performs nominally. As you can see in the upper, the upper is a knit upper. It's a one piece booty and it has um, a heel counter which is quite well padded for the construction. It's a very simple construction. For some reason it's a very rather heavy shoe and um, it, it is said by Brooks that the next version, the Levitate 4, which is re releasing mid-year 2020, it's going to be 20% lighter and uh, but it loses the TPU silver casing so if you like this feature, design feature, you should get this one instead of waiting for the next one. Back to the upper, the upper is very comfortable, it's quite roomy in the toe box for a neat upper. I mean usually neat uppers mean you have to size up etc but these ones are very true to size because of this roomy toe box. And the construction of the upper makes it very comfortable, reasonably breathy, and very soft. We weren't even without socks. Although I did find some rubbing in the heel counter, which is considerably dangerous if you keep running and get injured by that. In terms of performance, this shoe not having a shank or a carbon fiber plate like is the fashion these days has a very quick transition. It's very flexible. It's not unstable, although it's very flexible. And although it's bouncy and dribbly, it's a, it's a rather firm ride. It's not a plush ride. The more force you put into them, the more you get returned. This dribble of the midsole is mostly noticeable when you hit hard on the floor, as in speedworks. You get this dribble, this bounce, and it's more noticeable in those, in those cases. The outsole is filled with what Roots calls the flattened lock design. It's very rubbery. It's quite durable. I've run these for around 80 kilometers and they are in quite good shape. And the shape of the outsole makes for a very, very interesting transition and very comfortable ride. So this is not only a good looking outsole, but it's also a very, very well performing. In general, I have no complaints about this shoe, although I wish it was lighter. I think my wish has come true because of for what I've heard of the of the new releases, it's going to be lighter. So it's going to be interesting to see what this 20% less weight is going to do to the mechanics of the shoe. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to the Run Repeat channel and have a good day.